Hey guys, common question I get asked on a habitual daily basis is why is my dog a gem and a half with other dogs? Off leash, untethered, but the moment I strap on her lead, the moment I walk her, she is barky, lungy, transitions from Jekyll into Hyde, Cujo dog. So I wanna take a moment and shoot a video giving you my perception on why this is such a growing trend, especially in our urban dense venues. So from my vantage point, there are a couple of different genres of leash reactive dogs. The first genre tend to be what we call bubble dogs. Bubble dogs being your dog may have a personal bubble, a sense of personal space, and the barky reactive behavior is essentially a proactive strategy to tell a passing dog, hey you, golden doodle, keep your distance. You better stay the mother bleepity bleep away from me or else. Dogs, bubble dogs, statistically tend to be more herding breeds. We get a lot of protection breeds they tend to be dogs that genetically are more sensitive to movement in their environment and tend to be breeds who um, have a reputation of hurting and managing that environment and controlling the environment. The second group of dogs um, are what we call the frustration dogs. So if, let's just say you have a dog who um, he's barking, lunging, rude, but the moment he gets to the other dog on leash, he sniffs and he's happy, he's fine, he might even want to play with them and romp. So we call those frustration dogs. These are dogs who genuinely want to interact with passersby. Um, they might want to take the other dog's bio, credentials, resume, engage in what I call the yin yang booty sniff. <laughs> However, the reason why they're doing so much barking and lunging is generally because they can't do all of those things. They can't take bio resume credentials and that's freaking frustrating. And what happens is your dog sees another dog on the horizon. They think, oh my gosh, there's another dog. Wonder, I, I wanted figure out information about them. But because they're leashed, they can't always meet that dog. So that frustration ends up needing a fissure, it needs an outlet, and that outlet comes in the form of being a freaking drama queen. So then there are dogs who are somewhat a hybrid between those two parties. Um, the good news is, is regardless of the emotional undertone that is kindling that behavior, really the the approach is the same um we have a program called leash drama program um but yeah if you have a reactive dog um if you have any thoughts on why he might be reactive leave them in the comments below if you're a trainer and you i'm missing out on a category and you want to add it add it to the comments below but yeah guys we this needs to be a hot topic of of conversation amongst the dog training community um because if you're any experiencing anything like what i am these urban dense environments it is such a growing trend um so yeah leave comments below thank you so much for watching ciao <laughs>